YouTube ads are getting out of control. You're watching a video and just as you're getting into it, boom, another ad or two or five. And on iOS, it's worse. If you tried using ad blockers on your iPhone, you know the options are limited. Apple's restrictions make ad blocking almost impossible unless you know exactly what tools to use. That's where this video comes in. So today I'm gonna walk you through the best VPNs you can use on iOS to block YouTube ads, plus some bonus options that clean up other browsers, apps, and even boost your online privacy while you're at it. So whether you wanna block ads in the YouTube app, on Safari, or across every app on your phone, this video has you covered. These tools are the ones that actually work on iPhones and iPads. So if you're tired of pre-roll ads, banners, or being tracked across every website, keep watching. Let's. Get Get into it. Let's start with the big question. Why is ad blocking so much harder on iOS than other platforms? The short answer is Apple limits it on purpose. Unlike Android, where you can install third-party apps that filter ads across your entire phone, Apple locks down system level permissions. That means standard ad blockers can only work inside Safari. They can't block ads in other apps like YouTube, Chrome, or your email unless you use a VPN. So if you're watching YouTube in the app, Safari-based blockers won't help you. Same with Instagram, TikTok, mobile games, and even some streaming platforms. To get real system-wide protection, you need a VPN that includes built-in ad blocking. This is why VPNs with ad blocking tools have become the go-to solution, not just for privacy, but for cutting down on constant ad interruptions. So how VPNs block ads on iPhones? A VPN reroutes your internet traffic through an encrypted server, but when that VPN has an ad blocking feature, it also filters out ad scripts, trackers, pop-ups, and malicious domains before they even reach your device. This is different from browser extensions. It works across Safari, Chrome, Firefox, YouTube app, news games, mobile games, and pretty much anything else with an internet connection. So when you activate a VPN like NordVPN or Surfshark with built-in blocking, you're not just hiding your IP, you're blocking ads at the network level, which is as close to true system-wide blocking as you can get on iOS. Now let's get into the top tools that are crushing it right now. Starting off with NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the most well-known VPNs in the world and for good reason. It's fast, secure, and packed with features that make it more than just a privacy tool. NordVPN includes a feature called threat protection and on iOS this shows up as threat protection light. When enabled it blocks YouTube ads, banner ads, pop-ups, malware domains, trackers, and yes it works across all browsers and apps while the VPN is on. So you can open YouTube, load videos in the app, and Safari and skip every ad that normally plays. Sites that are overloaded with banners are gone. Even in mobile games that normally show ads after every level, some of them can be stopped cold. You also get access to 6,000 plus servers in 60 countries. Fast speeds, even on mobile and security features, look like IP masking, DNS leak protection, kill switch on desktop. NordVPN also works on up to six devices, so you can cover your iPhone, iPad, laptop, and even smart TV with one account. The only downside is that the threat protection Light on mobile doesn't have file scanning or deep malware analysis, but it does on desktop. But for ad blocking and general protection on iPhone, it's one of the strongest tools available right now. If you want to get started with NordVPN, we've left our exclusive link in the description for you. And once you click that link, you can go ahead and click get the deal. They've got a couple of different options for you, but just so you are clear, in order to get the threat protection pro and in the ad and tracker blocker, you want to make sure that you are in the plus plan. So the basic plan would not cover that. So the basic plan is just $2.98 and you just get the VPN. With the Plus plan, this is just $3.85 a month and you get that ad blocker. With the Complete and the Prime plan, starting at $4.81 per month and $6.74 per month, you also get that in there as well, plus a bunch of other bonuses like password manager, one terabyte of encrypted cloud storage. And with the Prime, you get Nord Protect, which is identity and social security, number monitoring alerts, credit monitoring, and even more. To get the best price possible, you want to make sure you're signing up for the two-year plan. All you do is click the one, and again, make sure you're doing plus or up to ensure that it has the added tracker blocker and you're good to go. Next up is Surfshark. And if you're looking for performance, flexibility, and great value, this is a super strong pick. Surfshark's clean web feature works almost identical to NordVPN's threat protection. It blocks YouTube ads, pop-ups, trackers, suspicious links, cookie banners, and it does it across all apps, not just Safari. You can do it on YouTube, Chrome, and a few new apps and even games. So what makes Surfshark stand out is the unlimited devices. One account covers everything and no limits. They also have 100 plus country coverage, which is great for streaming. And they have strong privacy policy and are headquartered outside surveillance alliances. It's 
very simple, clean iOS app that's super beginner friendly, but also very powerful. It also has extras like GPS spoofing, Android only for now. They also have camouflage mode to hide VPN use, dedicated IP add-ons, and Surfshark One is also the optional antivirus and identity monitoring. In terms of performance, it's right there with NordVPN. Speeds are fast, especially on US and EU servers, and there are no issues watching Netflix, Prime Video, or YouTube in high quality with the clean web running. Just like Nord, clean web only works while the VPN is turned on. But if you're using a VPN anyways, this gives you ad blocking and privacy protection in one. If you want to go ahead and check out Surfshark, I've also left that link in the description. What you'll do is click this button and then you can see the different plans. So again, you want to make sure you're getting the Surfshark one at least if you're looking for ad blockers. The Surfshark starter plan is just $1.99 per month plus three extra months and this is for a 20 month period. Next is the Surfshark one and this is $2.49 a month plus three extra months. And again, this is for the 24 month plan as well as the Surfshark one plus. So with this, you get the VPN, alternative ID, antivirus alert and search. And then with the Surfshark one plus it's $3.99 a month paid for 24 months and you get the everything in the Surfshark one, but you also get the data removal feature as well. Again, to make sure you're getting the best price possible, you want to make sure that you are signing up for the 24 months because you can save 87%, which is huge. Lastly is the total ad block, which only works on Safari only. So if you're not ready to commit to a VPN or if you mainly use Safari for YouTube and browsing, total ad block is your best non VPN option. It's a dedicated ad blocker built for iOS and Mac OS Safari. Here's what it does really well. First off blocks video ads on YouTube again, Safari only. It removes banners and sidebar ads. It hides cookie consent pop-ups. It stops tracking scripts. It's super lightweight and easy to set up. Setup is as simple as downloading the app, enabling it in Safari's extension menu, and following a quick setup guide. Once it's on, it cleans up sites like YouTube, CNN, BuzzFeed, and others instantly. But on the other hand, what it doesn't do is it doesn't block ads in the YouTube app itself. It doesn't work in Chrome, Firefox, or any other browser. And it doesn't block ads in games or third-party apps. Also, there's no VPN, no encryption, and no privacy protection. It's purely just an ad blocking tool for Safari. Still, if you're mostly using Safari and want a more cheap option that doesn't require always on VPN usage, Total Ad Block is a solid and effective choice. Just to quickly show you the pricing on this. So if you sign up now, you can save 80%. It would only come out to $19 for your first year. It's usually $99 for the year. So again, you're saving 80%, which is such a great deal. Now, I just wanted to offer a few other options. So they didn't make the top three, but they're definitely worth mentioning. First off, AdGuard. So AdGuard has both a Safari extension and a standalone app. It offers DNS-based filtering, customizable rules, and strong privacy settings, which is great for advanced users, but requires a bit more setup than total ad block. Next is Proton VPN, and Proton VPN has a decent ad blocking feature called NetShield, but it's more privacy focused and doesn't do as well with YouTube or in-app ads as Nord or Surfshark. So which one is right for you? If you want full ad blocking plus VPN level privacy and streaming access, I would definitely go with Nord VPN. But if you need ad blocking across all your devices with no limits, Surfshark is the best value. And if you only want to use Safari and want something a little bit cheaper and, and very simple, total ad block will work great for you. If you're watching on YouTube in the app, browsing in Chrome, or using apps where ads are driving you insane, Nord and Surfshark are going to give you the best overall experience. And both of these links are in the description below if you want to check them out yourself. Ad blocking on iOS isn't perfect, but it's way more possible than it used to be. So whether you're trying to block ads in YouTube, Safari, or across all your apps, there's a solution that fits. Just know that regular Safari extensions are not going to cut it if you're using other browsers or apps. So if you're serious about getting rid of ads and protecting your privacy, a VPN with built-in ad blocking is the way to go. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments or questions below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.